Now this is a seamless transition. This is the same transition, but one looks better than the other. And I'm gonna tell you why. Yo, what's good, you legends? I hope you're doing dope. Today, I'm going to explain to you why you're still mad that you bought that seamless transition pack. <laughs> That's so mean. I've been there, bro. Matter of fact, I bought that very same transition pack that you probably bought as well, and I still got mad. But all jokes aside, we're not talking about editing. We're not talking about keyframes. We're not talking about any plugins. None of that stuff. It's deeper. It's like a philosophical thing. Great, now he's a philosophizer. Now he's a philosophizer. Jesus. Dodgeball reference. Moving on. Number one. Let's talk a little bit about mass transitions, okay? I've never liked mass transitions. Never have, never will, and I probably will never like mass transitions. I think they take so long for an effect that isn't that great if you didn't do the keyframes properly. But that's just me. You don't have to agree with me. Quick question. Do your mass transitions look like this? Uh, uh, yeah, dude. I feel you, man. Now that you saw my trash transition, let's watch how one of the OGs does it. Andreas him, one of my favorite creators. Check this out. Mm. You feel that? That was smooth. Kind of make you want to just say, damn! Friday reference? Yeah, I, I knew y'all were going to get that one. We're one for 1,000. Good job, guys. We got to break this down, but they need to be realistic. Your mass transitions need to make sense. Your subconscious is way more powerful than you may think. Without even being a video editor, you know how things are supposed to go. What success looks like, but you don't like what it feels like. You rather... Let me say it this way. Don't mask out a tree to reveal a desert. There are no trees in the freaking desert. Also, don't mask out the entire body of someone to reveal a close-up of an eyeball. That doesn't make sense. If it was realistic, you'd probably just see a blur of black or blue to reveal the eye because it's being shot on a tight focal length. Which leads me to a couple of tips to help you out, which is number one, if you're going to do a mass transition, make sure you're using the same focal length. Also, it would be good to have something coming from the same angle and from the same direction. And if you really want to sell it, I suggest using the same masking element from the end of one clip to the beginning of the next one. Just like in this shot, it is a tree. Whew, dope shit. You guys hear that? Yeah. That's the YouTube gods telling you to hit the subscribe button, fam. Did I get you? Let's go. Oh, I forgot my shirt. Ah, that's the shirt right there, yeah. All right, guys, number two, we got zoom transitions. Now, I am tired, bro, of zoom transitions being done completely ineffectively. And if you don't take anything from today's video, please take this. Number two, they work best when they are motivated. Potato. Potatoes. It's a Lord of the Rings reference, a little, little geeky on you that time. Remember, they gotta be motivated. Don't do it for no reason at all, man, because then it won't make sense. They got to be motivated. At the beginning, I showed you that you could do a zoom transition effectively. The Spider-Man shot looked good because it was motivated. If Spider-Man was actually pulling something, it would look like a zoom in transition. It was motivated on purpose. Zooming out of an overhead shot looks like it makes sense. What my friend Jonas was up to. Zooming out from a medium shot to a wide shot makes sense. You know what doesn't make sense? Women. Yo, I'm sorry, I don't know where that came from. I should call her. Zooming in from a medium shot to a medium shot doesn't make sense. But if you zoom in from a medium shot to a tight shot, now that makes a lot more sense. Oh, <laughs> that makes sense. And number three, man, is shake transitions. Ugh. Bro, y'all be doing this way too much. Don't use a shake transition just because you're like, you know what? This needs a transition. No, dude, don't do it. Make sure that you're pairing it with a sound effect. And on top of that, make sure that it's motivated. Make sure that it's subtle. Don't make it go crazy because then they're like, what the heck was he doing? If you don't feel it's motivated to be there, then just don't do it. When the foot came down, it shook the ground. It was motivated, but very subtly, you know what I mean? So there we go, that was pretty fun. You guys want a part two? Thumbs up, thumbs down? No? 
whatever. This is a clean cut shirt though. Yeah, absolutely love it. Can I get me one of those? What the heck, dude? This is my room. Go wear your freaking uniform. Go over there. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Forgive me. <laughs> Privacy. Thank you. Guys, I have a 15% off discount for you guys. If you guys are interested in these, I'm going to put in the description. Hold up. Let me go find it real quick. <laughs> wow. Okay. So this is what it feels like. Okay. Uh, I think that that's it. Go ahead and like this video because that's what the intelligent people are doing. <laughs> please subscribe because that's what all the intelligent people are doing. And uh, please, if you are interested in me keeping my job, please uh, click the link in the description for any kind of shirts or discount for cuts, clothing, and, and presets, and, and all hey, that good who stuff. Who are you talking to? Oh my god, he's coming. Oh, oh, I gotta go. Hey! Oh, fetal position. Fetal position? Boy! Mm. I told you not to tell the camera. What do you do? Freaking talk to the camera, is it? And you continue talking to the camera? You know? My god, dude, you smell like Dia Jimenez chorizo, bro. No one likes you, is it?